friends, next we're going to talk about order of operations for our Algebra 1 discussion. There's something called PEMDAS, and this is the order of operations, and it's kind of a, a way to remember. So what does this stand for? I've never heard of that word, okay? We have the P stands for parentheses. If I can spell it, parentheses, okay? The E stands for exponent, okay? The M stands for multiply. The D is for divide. The A is for addition. Addition, that's how you spell that. And then the S, of course, is for subtraction. So, anytime you have a problem that's written in a linear form like that, you need to follow PEMDAS, okay? And this is the order. You do that first, that second, that third, that fourth, that fifth, that sixth, okay? So if you do it in this order, you'll never get it wrong. Let's see if we can use PEMDAS to solve these problems, okay? So number one, what do I have? I have an addition, and I have the dot means multiplication, right? So which one do I do first? Do I do the multiplication operation, or do I do the six plus three first? Well, look, in the PEMDAS, who comes first? Multiplication comes first. So do this step one. Three times two is six. Then you do the addition plus another six is 12. So what about this guy? What do I have here? Ooh, look what I have right there, okay? I have an exponent, right? Okay, so I have an exponent, then I have a divide operation, and then I have a subtract operation. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do Exponent comes first. I'm going to do him. So 3 times 3. 3 squared is 3 times 3. So this guy here is a 9, right? So now that becomes 27 divided by 9 minus 1. And now what do I have? I have a divide and a, and a subtract. Who comes first? Divide comes first. So you do this step first. 27 divided by 9. How many times does 9 go into 27? 9 and 9 is 18, and another 9 is 27, so 3 times, right? So this is 3, okay? And now I'm left with 3 minus 1, and that's easy, isn't it? 3 minus 1 is just 2, okay? So exponent first, then divide, then the subtract. What about this guy, okay? First thing you do. Parentheses is first. That means do whatever's in the parentheses, that operation first. So inside of the parentheses is this, 2 plus 3. And 2 plus 3 is 5, okay? So this becomes 3 times 5, and then there's the squared, right? Next operation. Look what I have. I have multiply. Sometimes you seem to put a dot there, sometimes not. It still means that that's multiplied by the whole thing there. Keep you. Oh, okay. So three times twenty-five. No, what? This is gonna have three times the thing inside the parentheses all squared. Next operation is do the exponent, right? Exponent comes next. So five squared. Five times five is twenty-five. So now I have three times twenty-five. Okay. It's like having three quarters, isn't it? If you had three quarters, you got how much? Three times 25 is 75, okay? One more, let's see if we can do this guy. Okay, what do we have here? We have a subtract, we've got a divide, we've got a multiply, and we've got a plus. Now the multiply and divide, really and truly, those guys, it doesn't matter which order you do them in. You can do divide first or multiply first, but let's just keep them in the right order so that we stay with our little program here. So let's. So let's try this one here. Now we've got some order of operations things that we're going to have to mess with here because we've, we've got a divide, we've got a multiply, and then we've got a, an addition and a subtraction. Now the, the, the way you do this, if you have a divide and multiply, right? Multiplication and division is on the same level. Addition and subtraction is on the same level. So when you have these two, you don't have to do that one first, then that one. The way you do it is you just do it left to right, okay? So, for instance, right here, I don't want to do multiply first and then do the divide. I want to just do it this section here, right here, okay? I want to do that just left to right, okay? So, here we go. 
10 minus 12 divided by 3. How much is 12 divided by 3? It's 4, right? So minus 4 times 3 plus 4. Okay. And now uh, this, I've got to do that step next, then multiply. I'm just doing left to right. So I did that operation first. Now I'm doing this operation. So that would be 10, what, minus 12? So 10 minus 12, and then plus the 4. Okay. And 10 minus 12 is negative 2, plus 4 more is positive 2, isn't it? And that would be your answer for that guy. Okay, we've got one more over here, and this one has uh, a divide, but it's written a different way, right? Instead of writing to divide this way, it's written it kind of in fraction form, okay? So this bottom down here, we're gonna, we'll put parentheses around that. We've got to do that operation first because it's 18 divided by everything that's on the bottom, okay? So we have to do this operation down here on the bottom, which becomes 18 divided by 6. And how many times does 6 go into 18? We know that. It's 3. So there you go, order of operations. If you remember PEMDAS, you remember your order of operations work left to right, do, do those operations in that order, you won't get it wrong. I hope this helped, and I'll see you next time.